Hello, hello, everybody. We are live. This is our final day of setup at the Distortions Unlimited booth. So we're going to go around, see what kind of progress we made be between yesterday and today. Um, we're still waiting on getting air. Um, so we're still waiting for some fittings, but we will be doing that shortly. We're going to see if we can hear a little bit of the audio we, we have programmed. Um, again, like I said, things aren't moving yet, but they have their audio adjusted. So we have Wicked Wolf here. So just a little bit about the layout. Um, a layout of the booth. There we go. There's Wicked Wolf. One of the first things you're going to see when you enter, kind of head toward our booth from the entrance, you will see the giant skull, which will be up and talking. So that's a giant skull. We've got some uh, camo netting on it and it fogs. Um, so we have these push buttons, as you see different push buttons on different anime animations so you can go around the booth and push the buttons again this one doesn't it's not moving yet but if i push it it should start talking and fogging Okay, so one of the things we need to do is we need to adjust these lights up here that are highlighting it because we want to create more shadow around the eyes so you can see the fact that it has red lights from within. So that's one of the things we need to adjust this morning. I'm going to continue around. If you're coming to Transworld this year, one thing to keep in mind that's different from previous years for us is we have nine booths. So we have a full island here that you have to travel around. So we have both sides. See, we have this side. And we have this side. So you need to travel all the way around this island to see all this stuff. Plus, like last year, we have the site over here. So we have nine booths this year instead of six. So make sure you, uh, you know, you see everything and travel around this island. Oh, we got to stop here. So we've got our raptor scene. We set up some foliage last night and this morning. Hey, Haunt Channel. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. So we have our raptor scene. These will be moving tomorrow, but if we press it, we can test our audio levels. So you can hear raptor attack rumbling there. Again, these will be up and moving shortly. There's Mike filling fog. There's Ed back there. So what we're doing this morning is we're going around this island as a team, uh, seeing what we need to do. You can see someone's in there hanging a banner, hanging one of our distortions banners. We got Zach and Mondo's probably on the other side of that. Dominic's Clay Channel. We hope you get to come to Transworld one of these days to see you. Haunting Studios. See you on Thursday. Definitely come by the booth. Okay, so before we go around and see everything, 
I'm going to give you a little bit of the layout. We're going to travel. People are still setting up. But if, if it's anything like last year and some of these previous years, got people carrying barrels. We still have forklifts. Um, but these were generally the, the entrance doors. And I think that's the same this year. If anybody knows, let me know. Maybe, maybe someone's, someone's uh, official. But these are the side doors. And so to get to our booth from this, this entrance here, which will be open tomorrow, you travel through here. We've got Pro Air Effects setting up and they're always doing makeup demos. We have the stage here where there's makeup demos, special effects demos. They'll be seating all through here. This is a really exciting area of the show. I always like to check out the makeup and special effects. Then to get to our booth, we turn left and you can see the giant skull. You can see the distortion sign. You can see Wicked Wolf, Roswell Alien, Grumpy Gargoyle. So here we got Grumpy. Grumpy and Bobo. And that old I sit on a stone with emeralds a bad so grumpy gargoyle has four or five different new programs grumpy and bobo have like four or five new audio tracks that we just recorded last week He's got Roswell Alien, classic. Full 3D. Had a lot of comments about Wicked Wolf here. Got the giant skull. Got a raptor display with all its new foliage. Will we have enough catalogs to last the whole day? Yes. I don't know if we'll have enough to last the whole trade show, though. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But I think we have... We have a lot of boxes of catalogs, so we have quite a few. But definitely come by, grab a catalog. It's new, the catalogs are new. So these are saucer men. These are a re-release of a display, a mask we did in the 80s. And when I was a kid, I actually had a raw version of this that um, one of the members of Metallica called my mom and tried to buy. I didn't sell it at the time. I was too attached to it, but I eventually sold it. <laughs> we have our distortions desk where Martian and Janine will be. And we've added some lighting effects to it. So it's metal, it's cut out metal. And we have lighting effects in it with the TV. Okay, let's see what Ed's up to. Hey, Ed. Hello. The booth is looking good. Everybody likes it. <laughs> There's Marsha. Uh, yes. Okay, let's continue around. So here, 
this is a new product that we talked about yesterday. Definitely come by the booth, see what it does. We've got some classics. We've got Alien Parasite here. So again, like I said at the beginning of the live stream, make sure you come around, do the whole island. You've got to travel around this island. And we have some buttons here that we'll be, we'll be pushing tomorrow. So we have Alien Parasite. We've got Wicked Wolf. Now, one thing about Wicked Wolf is new for this year. We have the Wicked Wolf static display, Wicked Wolf Legend. Then we've got Creep Show. We got to back up to see this. Wretched ICU. Okay. We got some things moving. That's good. Good, good. Still waiting for the air. Waiting for the compressed air to get everything up and going. Okay, let's go to the other side. So here's our big legends and prop displays. This is sort of our display for classic Halloween where we have after midnight. Dun, dun, dun. Count Orlock, which we call Nosferatu. Love those eyes. We have Poe. There's Wicked Wicked Wolf, uh, Scarewolf. Getting names messed up. Scarewolf Legend. That was Scarewolf back there, the animatronic. <laughs> we have too many things. Behind Scarewolf Legend. Get our classic lullaby back here, which will be plugged in and moving. We have Zombie Legend. That's right, we still need to fix Poe's hair. <laughs> that is true. Yeah, this side we haven't come around to yet. As you can see, Haunted Tree still has the creepy cloth in the mouth, so we still need to decorate the limbs. But we have Haunted Tree here. We've got Legend, uh, the Watcher. Got to get up there and get the hair out of the face. Grizzly Gord. Jack Attack. The new Wicked Witch. And back there we have Vampire Legend. Let's see what else we have. New for this year. Alien Spider. Pumpkin Witch. Jack Widow. House of Doom. They can't wait to meet you tonight. That dinner is going to be awesome. They're really looking forward to that. This is Scarecrow, new for this year. Jack is back. Got the pumpkin guts. Pumpkin seeds, pumpkin guts. Back there is Pumpkin Stalker, Mutant Legend, Mutant 
legend. Monster legend. This is also new for this year. Frankenstein's experiment. I'm really looking forward to just filming the show tomorrow, filming our booth, filming scares, jump scares, filming reactions. Once these are all up and going and the crowds are coming, it's a busy day, but it's fun. So this is mutant. Okay, let's go see what else is new. Let's go see what Ed's working on. I told him you were adjusting the lights. Looks better. Yeah, so you can see the red. A lot better. The black. Details, right? Details, details. Heather Bradley. Yes. <laughs> CT Hans, thank you. Okay. The hall's starting to wake up. More and more people are getting in after breakfast, setting up their booths. There's a lot of booths already set up. Um, but there's still a lot of work to be done. Let's go see what Mondo's working on. Hey, Mondo, what are you working on? You're alive. Hoses and a wire. Ta taping everything down, right? Yeah, like you can see that it's all black and then the hoses are red, so... Yeah, it's yeah. Not a good company. Yeah, so we're just like wires. So we're the wires out. Wires, nice. the tape, and uh, see, but you look great now. It's gonna look good. Yep. We can't wait to hear what you think, David's TV, to see it in person. House of Doom says, hello, Mondo. <laughs> hello. <laughs> we don't know. We don't need to know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'll stick my uh, I think they all went to Frank. Oh, yeah. We're, we're just cruising around. We are just cruising around. Is there anything anybody wants to see specifically? I think the audio is working. I can at least show you the audio. So what we're waiting for on this side, you see that air hose back there, that orange air hose. We're waiting for a fitting. We need a fitting for that, and then we can start plugging things in. You want to... The alien. Which alien? The alien. We've got alien spider. Show us the alien with the brain. Okay. The alien with the brain. Yes. We will be in, we will be releasing this on the website and releasing it. It'll be released tomorrow, up and running. 
Giant brain. This is going to be fun. So this, this we still have quite a bit of just tech work, things to plug in. This, this is going to be kind of our last finish. Looking better already. Huey Haran says hi, Mondo. Oh, <laughs> I can't wait for that. Just hear everything running. Dude. Yes. What's the alien's name? This, I think his name is Xandar. Xandar or Xandor? Look at those eyes. And that was sculpted by Jordu. Jordu sculpted the alien. Of course, we had to get Jordu to sculpt it, right? The Banshee. You want to see the Banshee? Oh, we showed the Banshee yesterday. The Banshee's not running, but I've been saving that for today. So this is the Banshee. Or Banshee. Look at that face. This is another one that was primarily designed and sculpted by Jordu. Although Tom did a lot of work on it, too, in the Jordu sculpted a hand and then Tom sculpted the other hand. I'm not sure which one they did, but so this is Banshee. No, digital pumpkin cap. Banshee isn't static. Banshee is an animatronic. And we keep an eye out on our, on the YouTube channel. Keep an eye out here because probably this afternoon or tonight, the latest tomorrow morning we'll be releasing kind of the official video of Banshee moving and then of course tomorrow and throughout the show we'll be getting video of, of uh, her moving so this is the Banshee I mean check out the face from all angles but we can't wait for you to see it move Let's go check out the raptors again. So like all of our products, they're latex skin, foam filled. These are latex skin, foam filled with metal armatures inside. This, this one is static, about 10 feet long from tail all the way to the head. To me, this one is awesome, the static one. I mean, for what you get, I mean, it's it's a three-dimensional prop. So all the sides, semi-posable. This one also, this is the moving one. You've got two moving ones. We should have Ed do a live sculpt back in the studio. That's a good idea. Or Tom doing a live sculpt too. Any specific prop anybody want to see? I know you want to see them all move. How do you think it's looking? Looking good, yeah. Just that side needs a little 
lighting, decorating, and so forth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this we need to get some light. Well, these lights aren't even on yet. So we got to get the lights up. Let's go see Jack is back. Jack is back. Let's go see the tree, which is right next to our Scarewolf legend. Thank you, Contra Maven. Okay, we got a little bit more decorating. So you see we're, there's Zach up there, we're hanging, I should say they're hanging, hanging some black cloth over the top of it. Kind of to keep, you know, these the hall, as you can see, huge ceilings. And the air kind of comes through here, so it blows the fog. And we want the fog to kind of settle in with the prop. So we tried to make a, kind of tried to make, make it so it, it's protected with this drapes. Thank you, the dark side gesture and friends. Okay, I think we're going to do one more loop around. See what we can find. Maybe we'll come back. Do another one later when we have a little more action. Now it really is incredible what happens, like how quickly we've been, this is day three for us, but how quickly this space when we showed up is empty. And now it's like a little city, Every it's going up and it's going up quickly, all the booths, hundreds and hundreds of booths, different vendors, artists, companies, businesses, and tomorrow it's gonna be humming with people. So we're sweeping up. Any final things to say, Ed, on this one? <laughs> it's going to come together. It's coming together. There's the scare wolf. This bling B, this is in St. Louis, St. Louis, Missouri this year. Okay. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Again, this is a fun time of year. Um, I'll be filming a lot of videos tomorrow, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And a lot of that will be edited the next week, and then we'll put on complete walkthroughs of the show, all the different vendors, um, scares, and reactions to our props, a lot of videos from our booth. So definitely the next couple weeks are fun for the channel, for the YouTube channel, because we have a lot of new content. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll, we'll see you all soon. Oh, real quick, Spirit Hollow Halloween. Yes, Marsha and Ed will actually be at the East Coast Haunters Convention. They'll be there with a small table. We're not going to be showing there, but 
there's a panel they're on and so if you're at that show you can meet Mar ed and marcia okay back to work back to work we've got a few more hours here we go we'll see you all soon <laughs>